talking to you now from the town hall in Hoyk. This morning we started out campaigning in Selkirk when we went to the Selkirk FC. Uh, I was noting all the different kind of uh, football tops that were up. Notably, there wasn't a Partick Thistle one, That's but I'll be, yep. I'll be talking to Archibald about that. Uh, we then went to the, visited the campaign hub, which was brilliant, you know, buzzing with activists. I even got pizza, which is great for campaign food. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've came to the, the town hall for a, a public Q&A. And I have to say, um, this, this is the first time I've ever been in Hoyk in my life, as far as I'm aware. And it's currently a Conservative seat, so I, I wasn't really known what to expect. But the thing I've found is that all the problems that are happening in Paisley are even happening here. All the, the issues and the questions and all the different queries are the same up in Glasgow, west of Scotland, Edinburgh, as they are here. So it shows you that this is a chance in this election for us to actually change something, where I'm now travelling around the country and I'm standing with great candidates, just like Paul here, who are going to offer something better, something different, and we've got a chance to do it. But I'll hand over to Paul to say more. Thanks, Mary. Um, we will be here today. I mean, uh, as Mary is saying, uh, Hoyk and indeed the Scottish borders is a, is a part of the, the country where there's a lot of poverty, there's in-work poverty, uh, people are earning, working very hard but earning relatively low wages in many, many jobs. So the issues that are relevant to, to urban Scotland and the rest of Scotland are just as relevant here. So the work that Mary and the team are doing at uh, Westminster to try and challenge the Tories with the benefit cuts to disabled people with the uh, austerity which is hitting services is hitting just as hard here in an area with low unemployment because people are struggling to make ends meet and they rely on uh, tax credits to put food on the table. So the work that our team are doing at Westminster is absolutely vital and it's great to have someone like Mary really inspire people and come here today and uh, support the campaign. Uh, but we're all very proud of, of Mary and I think Thank um, you very much. Uh, she's been made very welcome in the borders and it's been tremendous to, mm -hmm. to see Mary engaging with young people and first-time voters and also all the voters who are really interested in the work she's doing on Thank pensions so and welfare reform. But I, just to finish that off though, although I'm... He's making me hit a, a beamer here. <laughs> so I have to say all that. Thank you very much. I have to say that when I'm hearing people like Paul speaking and the candidates that we've got all across the country, it's just shown the level of talent that we have up in Scotland as well and why this election is so important. So that when I'm seeing all these laws, horrible reforms being passed by the Tories in Westminster, if on the 5th of May Scotland votes the way I hope it does, then I'll, I'll be happy to know that people like Paul and other people in the SNP are in the Scottish Parliament trying to protect us as best as possible. On to the next stop. Thanks very much. Thank you.